Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is a short discussion on how to deal with sexism at school and also in the workplace. And this discussion is for those of you who will be growing up in Western countries, perhaps not even just in Western countries, but for our viewers as well in other parts of the world who are watching these programs. But obviously, since we are broadcasting from London, it's bearing in mind the type of culture that a lot of Muslim girls and women are growing up in uh, in this region. And so this is perhaps uh, a little bit of uh, reflection and advice on how to deal with sexism at school and also in the workplace. If we are going to be thinking about what we mean by sexism, this can come in, in different forms. Uh, at school, for an example, you may be perhaps treated in a derogatory manner by other boys in your class, uh, perhaps even by male teachers. In fact, th what I have heard from Muslim girls who go to schools, especially if they are the only one in their class with hijab, let's say you're the only one in your class with hijab, everyone else is non-Muslim, uh, you've got boys and girls in that class, and you've got a teacher, in fact the teacher may be male or female, what I have heard from many of these Muslim girls is that the teacher makes comments at them in the class in relation to the stereotypes that that teacher has about Islam, about women being oppressed, about you having to wear hijab as an example. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's the teacher who sets the bad example for the rest of the class to follow. And perhaps you're thinking, if you are in this situation where your teacher is actually making comments about you in front of the rest of the class, about you being a Muslim girl, you might not know what to do. You might think, well, I don't want to rock the boat. I, I don't want to create a bad atmosphere. It's better that I keep quiet and uh, I'll do my best in the class and uh, I will try to tolerate the teacher's attitude, or I will try to tolerate the attitude that is uh, being given to me by my classmates who also don't understand Islam or don't understand uh, the role of a Muslim woman. But it's very important in this day and age, especially when there is so much misunderstanding about Islam, it's very important to communicate again reflecting upon the examples that we have with Sayyidah Zainab salam alayha, Lady Fatimah Zahra salam alayha, the women of the Ahl Bayt alayhum salam who did actually speak out so that it would go on record that they had at least given their testimony, you know, they had at least spoken out with regard to what Islam really is and actually is. If you are receiving some sort of harassment from your teacher in the class because of misunderstandings and some sort of derogatory comments about Muslim women or about being a Muslim girl from your teacher, it's very important not to just let this pass. Anytime someone is speaking to you out of ignorance, that is an opportunity for you to correct their ignorance. It's very important in these situations to maintain akhlaq, uh, to maintain uh, courtesy, and to, to speak politely and to try to help them to understand and to explain. Often, uh, psychologists or professionals, they say that in a time of conflict or at a time of an argument, or at a time, as an example, if someone is saying a derogatory comment to you, it may not be better right in that moment to say something, especially as you may find yourself getting emotional uh, in that moment as well. But it's better to uh, speak to the person at the right time about the issue. 
So let's say that you get a comment from the teacher in the class about you being a Muslim girl wearing hijab. Uh, I have heard of Muslim girls studying English literature uh, and the teacher will be uh, teaching them some book that may uh, be based in India or it may be based in a country where there are Muslims and then the teacher won't be able to resist making a, a comment about Muslims or about Muslim women. So you can try after the class or perhaps when the teacher is in the staff room or in the corridor uh, to ask if you can actually speak to the teacher uh, about that issue, about the approach that the teacher has and arrange a time to speak to the teacher um, about what is going on in the class. And then, inshallah, when you arrange to talk to the teacher, wherever that may be, the staff room or in the classroom, uh, then you can bring with you some, some books, you can bring with you uh, some discussions on the position of Muslim women in Islam, especially what would be helpful would be to bring some articles on Western women converting to Islam. This may sound like a very scary idea for many of you, and I'm sure most of you probably shy away from arranging to have a discussion with your, with your teacher. Uh, I'm sure if you did ask to talk to your teacher and you did actually sit down and have a mature discussion with them, it would take them by surprise, um, your, with you, the way that you handle the situation. Uh, if you do feel perhaps not confident enough to talk to your teacher yourself, then definitely go to your principal and calmly and politely explain to your principal what is going on uh, in the classroom. I have uh, an example of a family whose daughter, they may even be watching this clip, a family whose daughter was the only girl at her school and she became Bali. It was time for her to wear hijab and she's going to be the only one in her school wearing hijab. And what the parents asked uh, me to do in line with the principal, they were working with the principal of the school, is that they had an assembly with the school and uh, they asked myself to come in and to give a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation on hijab. And so I was able to show how in different religions, in Judaism, Christianity, as well as Islam, women cover their hair. So we had a whole discussion on this uh, with the girls at the school and a gentle uh, introduction and explanation on why in particular this Muslim girl was going to be starting to wear her scarf. So this is really to say that it's important if you are at school and you're receiving certain comments, whether it be from the teacher or whether it be from your fellow students, that you don't keep quiet about it, that you speak up about it, not arguing, not in an aggressive way, but in a systematic and mature way. Best way is to go to the principal or to go to a teacher that you trust uh, and who will give you the support and arrange to have a meeting with whoever it may be and to take that meeting as an opportunity to educate these people. So it is possible to change people's attitudes with your approach if you take the right approach.